Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And this video is an update video of sorts to a previous video I talked about, which is building up an affiliate website using AI based content. Now this site in particular called javafinder.com is in a really competitive niche, which is coffee. And um, it's not a site that I was generating thousands of pages of AI content with and just splattering it up doing the uh, what we call spray and pray method. This is actually a little bit slower, a little bit more methodical, but it's not requiring 100% of my attention all the time, but it is slowly um, doing its thing. So if we go down here into the site kit summary, I'll just show you at first, I think I started the site on like 527 and you know, not much happening here. We get that little up and down dance, which usually tends to happen as you start a new site. This URL is not a completely fresh one. It is uh, a domain that had been expired. It was used previously. So we get a little bit of a boost from that, but it wasn't like a super powerful domain. But you could see here as the days go by, Pat posting a little bit of content uh, every couple of days here, that it has gone up, getting some impressions, and again, doing that little dance, okay? But slowly, it is working its way up. So I wanna show you a little bit about uh, what I'm doing here. So first and foremost, I've talked about this many, many times, the content generation, there's a lot of ways that you can go about doing this. Uh, I've showed you some methods on how to create a complete site map using ChatGPT. If you haven't seen that video, then be sure to check that out. But essentially what we can do is tell ChatGPT what our niche is and what kind of site we're trying to generate and tell it to create a complete and thorough site map for us so we can get an idea of what kind of content we're going to create. There are some additional methods, of course, manual ones where you can go into Google and you can just start typing in, you know, things like best espresso for and, and find out what people are actually searching for and you can get content ideas for that. But everybody's trying to create something, for example, where you can get a list of, you know, 10,000 topics or whatever, and there doesn't seem to be really any option for that now. Um, most of the time, you're just going to be exhausting all of these different methods for creating more and more content, because in order to develop topical authority around something, it's going to require a lot. So no matter what way you start it, um, you're going to be doing this probably in batches, uh, especially if you want to have some degree of quality to them, okay? So most of the time what I'm doing is picking these topics or using the site map that I had through ChatGPT and I am using an AI writer. Now, of course, you can create all of this content in ChatGPT if you like. I have found absolutely Zim Writer is hands down the best application, okay? Other people like their content writers. I think Zim Writer produces the best quality and it has a lot of options. So forgive me for pushing this, but I really do think that it is the best option. Yes, I'm an affiliate for them, but it is dirt cheap. So it's not like I'm making a gazillion dollars out of this. I think the product is really good. So when you go into Zim Writer, I go, I know, of course, some of you say, well, I have a Mac, I can't use this. You can get a Windows VPS really cheaply for this. I think I pay like $6 a month or something like that uh, to host this. And you can install uh, Zim Writer on it. And then you don't have to deal with uh, downtime on your computer, you know, it going to sleep, changing screens, anything. This thing just running in the background the whole time. So what I like to use is a couple of different options here. I don't use the one-click blog writer. I usually use the SEO blog writer because this is going to be the thing that you're going to use to create individual quality posts. Um, as I said, I'm not pumping out massive quantities of articles. I'm trying to get a little bit better quality, especially when we start talking about these keywords, for example, best espresso machine, which is usually going to be somewhat of a review-based article. So when you use this, there's a lot of options in here. I'm not going to go through all of this on this video because I've covered it in other videos. But the key is to be able to create a good quality post title, which you need to create manually because I find that a lot of the um, uh, titles that are generated by AI are not really good and they're repetitive. So you definitely want to do this part manually. And then we use something like this, like the global background. Global background is going to give the AI information that it's going to use to create this additional content that you're going to create below. So once you create all your content with your keywords and et cetera, then essentially what you're going to get is this kind of an output. So it is a text file and this is what it looks like here. So you could see here with GPT uh, 3.5 turbo, it basically cost me and this uh, article here is like 1.5 cents, you know, to create this. So it was a really dirt cheap. 
It also, uh, what I like, gives you a mid-journey AI prompt. You can use that as well, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But as you scroll down here, we see these double hashtags here. This is the mark for uh, inside of WordPress for our H2s and so forth. So what you do is we can take this information, and of course, that can be manually uh, cut and pasted into WordPress, which is a huge pain. So the faster way to do this is to use a plugin, which I'm going to show you right now. So let's say you have all of that massive amount of content, a file there that's, let's say, got 100 articles. There is this handy-dandy WordPress plugin called Bulk Importer for ZimWriter. You definitely want this. I'll include a link to it below. But what you could do here is you upload your files. There are settings here. This is the pro one. But I'm going to walk you through this real quick. So one of the components here, which is awesome, is number one, just uploading the articles and getting them ready to go. So it can do this in bulk. You can auto-schedule. So in the scheduling, you can set how often you want your articles to post. There's a lot of awesome stuff that's associated with this plugin here. So you can do auto meta descriptions and you get to basically, uh, you can automate this process. And of course you can import it through any of these different tools that you might already be using. Um, we go down here, we can enable auto featured images. Now, this is one of the huge problems that everybody keeps trying to solve, which is how do you get images into your articles without having to manually do it on every single one? Well, Here's the answer. This will auto enable these images. So you have a few different options down here. You can of course go to stock images with or without the focus keyword, pending it, assuming that that is entered. And you can hook up with Unsplash and Pixabay for free. We can also of course use Dolly 2. And one of my favorites here is using Stable Diffusion. So with these, you will need to enter your API keys. So you go down here and they are very easy to get. It's super easy. And once you do that, then you will have your featured images inserted into your posts. So this is a huge time saver. When we go over here to what's called the simple scheduler, there's another way you can do this. You can set how many posts a day are actually being scheduled. But on the upload process that you can do that as well. So once you include your files, you can import them as posts, pages, or some type of custom post type, etc and you can stick them into whatever category you want. So if you're uploading articles to particular categories, then that is hugely helpful. Now you can of course schedule this to as a draft. If you wanna go through and optimize each article, you can auto schedule these things. Of course, that's hugely helpful as well. And you can choose the author that you want. And then once you set that up, it is good to go. Then when you manually go through your posts, then of course, what you'll need to do is to go through there and just add a little extra. Of course, what we're gonna to need to do is to internally link articles together and here and there add some external links. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do that, still working on methods to optimize this. Right now you can see over here in the left-hand column, I'm using Link Whisper. And most of the time what I'm doing is auto-linking. So I'm selecting the pages that I want the most uh, links to, usually those money pages that eventually, once they get ranking, will be the affiliate producing pages. And then once we set those up, then we can target certain keywords. So for example, if I'm wanting to move all the traffic to the best espresso machine article or blog post, then what I can target is espresso machine, that keyword, and have the software automatically link that keyword to that page and it will scan through all the content and do that. So that makes life pretty easy. So of course I'll include a link to Link Whisper below. You can check that out as well. So the last thing I want to talk about is the uh, production of images. So when you go through here and of course like we said the featured image is automatically created. So yes but there are also some opportunities to create images within the post as well and I'm just going to show you this. What I don't like doing, especially nowadays, is everything being stock photo. I think that's not gonna be great uh, in the long run for the power of your uh, SEO, especially you wanna be able to eventually, when you use your alt text and so forth, get some of your images to rank in Google. So I am a fan now of just using mid-journey. So, and it's kind of fun to do that also. I really enjoy this process. So I go through the article here, and of course we want one image in there that is our featured uh, post image, but also has it as the alt text. 
but some opportunities to stick some other ones in here just to spruce up the article as well. So mid-journey, if you don't have access to it, it's really straightforward. We'll do a, a video on this soon. Uh, most of it is about just like ChatGPT getting the right prompts. And then, of course, with some generalized topics like coffee making, brewing, coffee beans, it's really easy to get some nice quality images that don't look goofy um, and they work really well in the articles. So definitely want to make sure that we post a few of those. Okay, so the bottom level of Midjourney is about 30 bucks a month. Yes, it's an, ex, uh, an additional expense, but I really think the quality is worth it, especially when we look at this next piece. So you could tell that I also am including videos down here in the post. I think that's another great one, especially when it's relative to the topic. So if it's a how-to post, then see if you can get a how-to video. Now, the other thing that I'm doing, and I'm slowly rolling this out, again, just because of time purposes, there's so much to do, but I do want to get this project moving, is getting the Java Finder YouTube channel set up. Now, there's a couple of different ways that I can generate uh, content on the YouTube channel, but uh, one of them is by using uh, AI avatars. So I was using Pipio for this in particular. You can see that I put this video up. And essentially what we want to do, and one of the little tricks is when you answer all these kind of Q&A based posts, like what are the best espresso beans, that is from a Google search. And we want to be able to rank not only our article, obviously, but also see if we can secure a spot with the video. You'll oftentimes see this, that in Google, a video can rank on YouTube, but it can also rank on the page in which it's embedded. So that will obviously be a bonus for driving traffic to the page. So also I've created another one here. There's a number of different video productions services that I'm using, but the key here is to mix these things up so that YouTube does not see the redundancy of using stock images, AI voices, et cetera, because that is going to cause them to ban your channel real quick. I've seen this hundreds of times before. It's happened to me many, many times using softwares that automate. So you need to be a little careful with this and not go overboard. But even when you're doing a good job, sometimes, unfortunately, YouTube will drop the hammer. Going to try to avoid that with this channel. So I'll show you how I'm putting these, these things together later. But the key is to be able to actually use this video on the post for that topic. And that way, the video that you have created may be the only direct uh, keyword or long tail keyword that's associated for a video and a post. So you want that. That's going to add a little bit more SEO juice. This is what I did on a previous site and it worked extremely well. Okay. So, so far that's what's going on. We're building up all of these channels. And of course I've already automated uh, pushing all of my posts via RSS feed to a social uh, network, which I purchased through uh, the company Legit. I'll include a video on this so you can see what I, I talked about previously for this, but this is the update and this is how you're going to generate a lot of high quality content to a website using Zimwriter and using that awesome plugin that I just talked about and you can get your affiliate site moving relatively quick. So that's the update here. Thank you so much for watching give me a thumbs up, like this video, of course, comment down below any questions you might have. And of course, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that every time a new video pops up, you get quick uh, notification and access. Thanks for watching.